big men have ever possessed this skill set. Carl Anthony Towns can do it all. He's getting focused on getting a win for his team as they prepare to get started against the Nuggets. Timberwolves, Nuggets, just moments away right after this. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Well, thank you, Kevin. Nikola Jokic has a signature move, a wrong foot fadeaway jumper dubbed the Sombor Shuffle after his hometown. Jokic said, I twisted my left ankle, and it was painful to jump off of both legs. I started jumping off the right leg, and the ball was going in. And I said, maybe I can use this. <laughs> Kevin, it's been working. Back to you. It has been unstoppable. David, thank you. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. Two big men inside. Towns and Gobert. Coming in at the wing, it'll be Edwards and McDaniel. And it's Noel in at the point. And for the Nuggets, the forward spots will be Porter Jr. and Gordon. Murray and Caldwell Pope, the guards. And it's Jokic in at the five down low. The Timberwolves secured a spot in the playoffs last season, Greg, and we enjoyed it after they got that emotional win in the play-in game in the Twin Cities over the Clippers. What a night. And, Kevin, you could tell it meant a lot to the players. This is a team that has struggled for so long, and by getting to the playoffs, this is a step in the right direction. But three... A nice shot by McDaniel. And how about the recognition by Gobert? I mean, of course, it does help when you're seven feet like Rudy. It can give you a clean view of the court. Now here's Murray. Here's Jokic. Outside, Porter. Six to shoot. Pass to Gordon. A three ball. The offensive rebound. Here's Noel. He's covered by Murray. And the call up against Jokic. That's his first foul. Yeah, quick foul to pick up right away here in the first quarter. Nuggets on D. It's a three-point game. Edwards can't hit. Porter looking it over. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nuggets will retain possession. And here are the Nuggets now. Murray kicks to Porter. Here's Jokic. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Jokic doing a nice job there, boxing out the defense to earn a second chance shot. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Noel passes to McDaniels. Porter with the steal. Four on three as they bring it up. And Jokic throws it down. Boy, good vision that time from Michael Porter Jr. Saw the wide open teammate and then got the pass to him right on time. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. The pass to Gobert. Towns high post. Back to Gobert. Six on the shot clock. Oh, and he takes it right at the man who just scored on him. <laughs> That's the way to answer back with an in-your-face stuff. Guys, some pride bubbling up right there. He wasn't about to be outshone. Here's Caldwell Pope following the bucket by the Timber. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player, is Caldwell Pope. Love seeing that. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. Now here's Edwards. Looking at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. Pass to Noel. Towns with it. 
Jokic grabs the miss. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Caldwell Pope against Edwards. Wide open look here for Murray. Nailed from three-point land. Murray already a capable shooter from deep. I think the more shots he takes like this, the better he'll become at. This is it to Noel. Now, here's McDaniel. Guarded by Porter. Edwards passes to Gobert. Back to Edwards. Over Caldwell Pope. Edwards can't hit. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. Pass to Murray. Jokic with it. What a tremendous game he played against Minnesota. Back to Murray. There's the three. Kept alive. Gordon dishes to Caldwell Pope. A shot from the low post is good. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Here's Noel. He's still scoreless so far in this one. To halt the run. A shot by McDaniels. No good. Ball's not loose. Towns with the steal. Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. Towns doing a nice job with a smart play there. Getting the ball to a ready shooter instead of trying to force it himself. Looking at Denver, they got their last win against the Timberwolves. And after spending his first seven years in Orlando, Aaron Gordon traded in 2021, going from the Magic, a team out of the playoffs, to a team chasing a title. Now, here's Jokic. He has six. Well, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Here's McDaniels. And finished off by McDaniels. Ooh, he put a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. Not when he can throw it down like that. Boom! And with Aaron Gordon leaving Orlando, Greg, how'd you think that deal worked out for him? Kevin, I think the change of scenery was great for Gordon. Taking on more of a complimentary role and, and getting more big game experience. Come on, come on, come on. Now, here's Jokic, and he comes up with the deuce. Jokic has got eight points. Hey, even by NBA standards, Jokic is a mountain of a man. 6'11", they list him at 284. That's almost a seventh of a ton, folks. The Joker can handle whatever contact he embraces. So the Timberwolves called their first time out. Last time they met was in Minnesota. Well, if they want to avoid the outcome of that first meeting, they'll need to be stronger on the glass. They were completely outmatched in the last one. And sometimes that can be a motivating factor. May very well light a fire under them tonight. Nobody likes to be dominated on the glass like that. And such a young, exciting core for the Nuggets. The MVP, Jokic, Michael Porter Jr., and Jamal Murray. This group has a chance to be a contender for the years to come. And he knocks down the first one. With Jokic, I mean, the potential, Greg, of this Denver team, they've got so much of it. But what is the key for them to actually reach it? Kevin, simply health. I mean, they need Murray and MPJ to be out there. Those two have had major injury issues. Jokic is a generational talent, but the man needs help. So he gets them both. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Now the pass to Porter. Caldwell Pope outside. And there's the call on Rudy Gobert. That's his first foul. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And, guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Order, order, order. 
Caldwell Pope outside. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's Gordon missing. The Timberwolves trail. Inside. Towns with the bucket. Well, you got to respect and admire the focus of Towns. I mean, he just doesn't get rattled. He just stays with it, embraces the challenge, and keeps coming. Now here's Murray. No good off the back of the rim. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Here's Noel. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Porter against Towns. Minnesota gets it back. And a new shot clock of 14 seconds. And here's the fast break. Porter leading the way. It's good from Gordon on the assist by Porter. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Outside Edwards. Towns against Gordon. Towns the pass to Noel. And it's Jokic with the rebound. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Really hard not to foul there. Tall with elite skills. Porter Jr. is a handful in the painted area. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Denver. Uh, they didn't hesitate to start working the offensive glass. And I tell you, those efforts have been rewarded with these second chance points. You know, points off turnovers is something else they've excelled in. I expect the opponent at least to try to squeeze that orange a little better. And the first one drops. Fans are really excited to see Michael Porter Jr. finally get back to his previous form, aren't they? Yeah, Kevin, that 2021 season, he exploded, simply blew up. Averaged 19 points a game that season and made... 44% of his threes. He's got the potential to be a real force going forward. And Porter drops them both. One thing that can be entertaining at this point of every season is how unexpected rivalries Greg begin to develop. Yeah, teams that might not be traditional rivals have a few heated games early on and now their matchups become must-see TV. Happens every season. Conley left side. Stolen by Michael Conley. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And how about that move? Pac Conley adjusting around the contact to get the finish. And here are the Nuggets now. Jackson looking around. Lock at six. After Naji, shot from 16. And Jokic throws it down. At almost seven feet tall now, Jokic can definitely throw it down. And he's happy to remind defenses that he can do so. Here's Reed. And then jammed down as he goes right over Jokic. Michael Conley with excellent vision on that pass. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. You can almost feel the mindset he has. I mean, when the game's this close, he's going to bring it at that end of the floor. Back to Jackson. Outside Porter. Outside Jackson. Denver needs to get off the shot. Aji. Offensive rebound. And that one's good. Jokic. Jokic has got 12 in the game. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Yeah, the half and half balls are going their way, and that's really a function of effort and intensity. You know, the ball doesn't discriminate. Whoever goes and gets it, that's who owns it. Here's Conley following the basket by Jokic. Alexander Walker passes to Anderson. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. The Nuggets leading by four. Outside, Porter. Braun. 
defended by Milton. Passes to Najee. And here's Porter. A shot. Najee, the second chance points on the tip in. And the Nuggets lead by six. And boy, have they come out strong, really pounding the offensive board for second chance points. Ultra impressive, guys. Caught them off guard, and they've taken the momentum in this game now. Now, here's Anderson. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Milton, right wing. Reed kicks to Conley. Minnesota needs to get off a shot here. A shot by Alexander Walker, no good. Outside, Porter. Down low. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Justin Holliday's checked in for Denver. The Nuggets leading by six. Got a piece of it. And again, Minnesota will turn it over. Denver's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Pass to Naji. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Jackson with the bounce pass. To the middle. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Holiday against Come. the path to Reed. They could use a bucket. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Jokic. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. The Timberwolves shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. One falls for Reed. You know, when it comes to the Minnesota Timberwolves, for so long, they've struggled to be competitive. But recently, I think they've started to turn things around. I mean, they've got a nice core. they got a taste of the playoffs recently and now look to build on that. Both free throws, good from Reed. And for the Timberwolves, Clark getting the number one pick in the 2020 draft certainly helped their turnaround. Yeah, that's um, rocket fuel when you're trying to move up, and they got a good one, a special one in Anthony Edwards. That guy is going to help them take major strides forward. This is an organization clearly on the rise. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Conley against Smith. shot on the way here's Reed a second chance effort rebound by the Nuggets they've been sensational on the backboard to start this game yeah sensational is a really good word for it they're tearing it up on the glass now here is Holiday after Naji. knocked loose stolen by Conley Passes it to Milton. Here's Reed, and he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one-hand hole punch. Jokic firing on all cylinders for the Denver Nuggets. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And when you consider how Denver is doing, guys, what are your thoughts? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. 
that's how they built this early lead. Boy, grinding it out on the glass. They've really been working for those points. Denver leading by six. On the court for the Timberwolves as our second quarter is underway. Riding in at the wing, it'll be Edwards and McDaniel. Two big men inside, Towns and Gobert. And it's Noel in at the point. Murray, good. Murray using the mid-range, an effective shot for a good penetrator like Jamal. He's a natural scorer. Murray against Edwards. Noel passes to Towns, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gordon. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. Here's Noel. Sinks the triple. Noel's got five points so far. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Murray kicks to Holiday. In the corner, Smith with it. Gordon trying to break loose. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Here's Noel. Defended by Gordon. Traps in the tray. Edwards got his first three points of the game. And, you know, succeeding in the catch-and-shoot game will really help Edwards set up his drives to the hoop. Smith still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Pass to Murray. Back to Smith. Here's Najee. Out to the right wing. Murray the pass to Najee. Gobert with the block. And the reach and height of Gobert. It literally makes it impossible to score over him. He's able to get all over that shot. Now here's Towns. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Denver. And how about the job he did rebounding as well, guys? I mean, just a dominant performance on the glass. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Timberwolves. They've not been passive at all on defense early on. Challenging shots, and it's resulted in a number of blocks. And they've also been pressuring the ball tonight. You, you don't get this many steals without making an effort there. Denver with the ball. Following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Six to shoot. Murray. The Nuggets with another miss. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a win against the Timberwolves at Target Center. It's off to Utah for them after this game as they take on the Jazz. That'll be game two of four straight on the road. Here's Smith. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, Greg, we see it every year. Those overachieving teams in the NBA. What enables them to be greater than the sum of their parts? Well, listen, luck can play a part, but confidence is a huge factor as well. If you walk into that gym every night believing you'll find a Shoot way to two. win, oftentimes you do. And that one misses. Clark, how about the Nuggets? This core has really delivered. Yeah, I like the young nucleus there, Kevin, led by the Joker, Nikolai Jokic. I mean, one of the best in the West. Um, I think they've built a perennial contender, definitely back on the map and in the thick of things. Got to get Porter Jr. and Murray healthy. And no good on the second free throw, so he goes 0 for 2 there. And last year, Minnesota had a tough end to their season. In their 10th playoff appearance, they made their ninth first round exit. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. 
Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. I don't think the Timberwolves, Greg, plan on letting their playoff statistics discourage them at all. And that's kind of the beauty of this squad. They're out to make new franchise history, not focusing on the past, just keep evolving as a team. Contavious Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Ish Smith. Murray outside. And Jalen Noel picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Here's Jokic. He's got 12. Murray outside. Four on the clock. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Murray's got the game tied up here for the Nuggets. And with that basket, he's able to end a 10-0 run by the Timberwolves. McDaniels passes to Gobert. There's the pass to Noel. From the arc. He's off on that one. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. Well, you know, the cohesiveness was evident out there. These guys feel like they can win in any arena. And they proved it that game. Caldwell Pope on the wing. Pass to Murray. Shoots the three. Denver the rebound. Jokic. And yet again, and it's good on the way in. Jokic has got 14 points for the game. Jokic calling his own number time and time again, taking over the scoring load tonight. Here's Noel. He's covered by Murray. Noel passes to Edwards. Jokic finds Murray. Misses off the right iron. And here are the Timberwolves. They're on a 12-4 run. Outside, Edwards. Towns against Jokic. They get it back. Gobert. And finished off by Gobert. And just an excellent rebounder. Gobert is so good at using that incredible wingspan to track down those additional scoring opportunities. Here's Murray following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Outside Gordon. Back to Murray. The 11-footer. Here's Jokic. Rebound, Minnesota. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Scoring efficiency was an issue in that one. Took them too many shots to get their point. Yeah, and I think they just seem to be a page behind. A step slower out there all game. Now, here's McDaniel. Following the miss by Jokic. Here's Gobert. This is to McDaniels. And it's blocked by Gordon. At the defensive end, Gordon is very accomplished. I mean, he gets off the ground quickly and is an excellent shot blocker as a result. Now the Timberwolves with it. They're on a 14-4 run right now. And it's blocked by Gordon. Murray for three. And they get it back. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Moves back up. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Towns has got six rebounds in the game. Here's Noel. He's covered by Murray. Here's Edwards. And it's Denver with the rebound. Jokic has got rebound number 13 with that last one. And Jokic signing a huge extension this offseason. Largest contract at the time it was signed. You, you knew it was coming as he just means so much to the franchise. And that's the cost for a back-to-back -back MVP. 
Now here's Edwards. Following the miss by Aaron Gordon. Count the basket. Edwards got the lead up to four now for Minnesota. Yep, you know, after a scoreless first period, he's really turned it up a notch, building some momentum. On our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. Now, here's Jokic. 14 points for him. He gets it in there. Jokic has got four points in the quarter. All Jokic needs is just a little bit of room, and he's good to shoot it. you got to respect the scoring ability he has. And the Timberwolves call time here. You know, this Denver team used to run a lot, but over the last few seasons, they've significantly slowed down their pace. Michael Porter, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Reggie Jackson comes in for Murray. Minnesota also making some changes. Reed, he's checked in for Gobert. Jake Milton comes in for McDaniels. And it's Conley in for Noel. Now here is Conley. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around 7.5 points a game. It's Edwards on the wing. And here is Conley. On the wing, Milton. No good on the triple. And the Nuggets start playing slower. More half-court basketball. Why? Well, I think it suits the game of multi-time MVP Nikola Jokic. I mean, the Joker is a maestro in the post and on the perimeter as a passer and scorer. So he dissects opposing defenses from anywhere on the court. And the staff has adjusted how they play to fit Joker's skill set. That's a smart move. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Last season, Clark, the Timberwolves snapped a three-year playoff drought. An important milestone for this squad, Kevin. I mean, it shows they're ready to compete in the postseason. That's huge and speaks to just how far this team has come. That one drops. He ties it up. A sharp shooter with a quick trigger release. Caldwell Pope is known for being an efficient scorer. Now Conley. On the wing, Milton. Passes it to Towns. Back to Milton. The shot will not fall. Gordon with the defensive effort. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Back to Edwards to stop the run. Count that as his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there. Well, the defense trying to throw Edwards off with some contact, but he smartly stays focused on his shot. And here are the Nuggets now. When this game is done, they'll be off to Orlando and they'll take on the Magic. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. Porter passes to Gordon. Back to Porter. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Fades. Jokic, no good. Take what's available. Use the fadeaway when the defender's there on you. Milton kicks to Conley. Pass to Edwards. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Reggie Jackson. Really important for this team to get production from Edwards. When he's aggressive in scoring the ball, they go to another level. And since being the first pick of the 2020 draft, Anthony Edwards has not disappointed. I'll tell you something, partner. The Timberwolves got that one right. Did they ever? I mean, we knew about his nuclear athleticism, but the leadership, the work ethic, the ability to impact winning also have been evident. This is a multi-time all-star going forward. He throw good, Edwards. And you look at Anthony Edwards, and G.A., he is becoming the leader of this Timberwolves team, isn't he? 
I think he is. I mean, partly it's his production with his numbers up across the board, but it's also his personality. He plays with tremendous swagger. Zeke Naji, he's checked in for Gordon. And Edwards drops them both. Hey, like a lot of guys, Edwards rides momentum as a player. When his confidence is soaring, so is his activity level. Clutching down low over by Conley. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. And the first one at the line is good. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. Both good from the line that time. And so Conley will bring the ball up for Minnesota. They trail by one. The pass to Milton. Pass to Reed. For three, Edwards. It's hauled in by Jokic. Jokic has got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. He makes his ninth shot of the game. He has only missed four. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Jackson against Conley. Master Reed. Back to Conley. Over Jackson. They get it back. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. To be out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. The Nuggets making a switch here. Holiday's checked in. The Timberwolves also changing it up. Kyle Anderson comes in for Carl Anthony Towns. And Nikhil Alexander-Walker in for Mike Conley. Good on the second free throw. Timberwolves trail by four. Edwards with it. 20 points for him last game against Denver. Pass to Milton. Now, here's Reed. He's guarded closely. Just five on the clock. Milton the pass to Edwards. Here's Reed. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Oh, I love watching him flush it home. Showing how easily he can get off the ground and bang it. We've got 108 left in the first half of the game. Caldwell Pope outside. Back to Jackson. It's deflected, and it's out of bounds to the Nuggets as Denver retains possession. The Nuggets making a switch here. Smith has checked in. There's 57 seconds left now here in the second. Here's Jackson. That shot, no good. And Minnesota now the other way. Here's Milton driving to the basket. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. 34 seconds left to play in the first half. 
from 13. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Well, I like the fact that Smith is a very solid shooter from mid-range. His teammates are confident with him from that spot. 19 seconds left to play here in the half. And there's the pass to Reed. Back to Edwards. Some solid defense there from Jackson. And pushing it up. Here's Denver. Orders running. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And, you know, when you foul Porter Jr., you better foul him like you mean it. Or it'll be an and one, just like it was there. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And from the line thus far, how about 83% on the season? Outstanding. He's been a completely different guy at the line this season. I mean, last year, you weren't sure what you were going to get when he got to the strike. Um, there's no way we could have expected such a huge increase in those free throw percentage numbers. Free throw good. Porter. And, you know, when Porter Jr. is healthy, I mean, he's got a lot of game. This guy is versatile. He's got good size. He's a multi-dimensional talent. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Nuggets lead by five. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Execution, pace and purpose with everything that we do, uh, and making sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Quite the tussle there in the first half, huh? The first quarter was all about Nikola Jokic. He had 18 points and a monster amount of rebounds. And, Kenny, what did you think about what we saw from Denver? They came out as the more physical team tonight. You could tell they put an emphasis on winning the battle of the boards. All of these bodies crashing the glass has given them a physical and a middle edge. Shaq, what do you think about Minnesota? And taking a look at their outside shooting, got to be honest, it's pretty horrific. Under 30%, which is something you never want to see. They need to reevaluate what they're doing on offense because they're leaving points on the table. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You look at Jokic in this game, he has been everywhere. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. And we've got second-half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Murray and Caldwell Pope, the guard. The forward spots will be Porter Jr. and Gordon. And it's Jokic in at the five spot. That's the group for Michael Malone getting going here in the second half. So it's Minnesota now. After Jamal Murray was able to get that triple. To the left wing. McDaniels finds Towns. Back to McDaniel. Well, Pope with a wide open look. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Timberwolves trail by eight. Outside Edwards. Pass to Noel. Now Gobert. Passes it to McDaniels. Just four to shoot. Over Porter. And it's Denver with the rebound. Jokic has got rebound number 15 here tonight. Fires at the elbow. 
And he overshot that one, missing. Timberwolves shooting about 42% so far. Pass to Noel. And stolen by Murray. The pass to Caldwell Pope. Outside, Porter. For three, Murray. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got his third assist on the night. This is Murray's game. A shoot-first combo guard. He's ready to fire as soon as he has it. Here's Noel. He's got seven. McDaniels can't cash in from close range. Feels to me like this team is going to need more from him, guys. I mean, if they're to erase this deficit, he's got to step up. Greg, looking at the shooting numbers of Michael Porter Jr., they're off the charts. I mean, his first full year in the league, Porter Jr. was top 20 in field goal percentage, top 10 in three-point percentage. Incredible numbers for a 6-10 win. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. Bear with the block. Here is Edwards. He's got 11. Then came down, and he goes right on top of Aaron Gordon. Watch out now. Look out below. Edwards rising to the raft. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And that's a thing of beauty. Certain plays, almost no words. You just sit back and appreciate. Now here's Porter. He has five. It's tipped. It's stolen by Gobert. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And not the same skinny guy he was when he entered the league. Gobert a lot less affected by contact these days. And one of the biggest stories of the summer was Rudy Gobert being traded. Gets a fresh start with the Timberwolves. A free throw drops for Gobert. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes play. Murray kicks to Porter. Back to Murray. The dish now to Gordon. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Shot clock at six. Kicks it out to Gordon. Lets it go from deep. They get the rebound. And out of bounds as the Timberwolves gain possession. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Conley's checked in. And the Timberwolves with possession here. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Passes to Towns. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Caldwell Pope against Cum. The pass to Porter. Now here's Caldwell Pope. He's got seven. And then Gordon with the jump. Nobody does it better than Gordon on the alley-oop. Boom! Has to go bare. Kicks it to McDaniels. Pass to Conley. Timberwolves passing it around. Five on the clock. Passes it to Noel. Let's it go with a three. Here's Gobert. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Gobert's got five points now in the quarter. To the inside. And then Gordon with the dunk. With maturity comes greater patience. Understanding how to play smarter. Murray keeps his options open and finds a teammate who's gotten free. Now here's Conley. There's the pass to Towns. Here's Noel. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope to the left side wing. Conley against Murray. Conley dishes to Towns. Gobert trying to get open. Good on that shot. And with that, the Nugget lead is cut down to just four points with a bucket from Carl Anthony Towns. Denver's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. 
Murray the pass to Jokic Coldwell Pope with it launches it hits it from three point range Coldwell Pope's got ten points in the game Okay, a really difficult cover especially in these screen and rolls I mean Caldwell Pope is fantastic with his creativity here's Noel he has seven just five to shoot and that one clearly a foul gets the whistle and two shots coming up and for years Mike Conley had an interesting title the best player to never make an all-star game well, that changed in 2021 when Conley was named an all-star for Mike Conley year 13 was lucky for him, going to that first all-star game and that was the longest wait ever to become an all-star Conley 33 at the time of that first selection just shows you the work ethic of Mike always trying to improve. And so Mike Conley nails both of them. Still a solid point guard in this league. When Conley is healthy, he makes a considerable impact on both ends. Porter kicks to Jokic to the wing on the left. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Nuggets great game for them offensively I mean coaches love seeing multiple shots per possession and then converting those second chance opportunities and I love the fact they kept the pressure on really pushing that ball running it up the floor I love seeing that a team staying aggressive even when they're playing well and that one misses and back in 2021 Nikola Jokic became the lowest drafted player to ever win the MVP the 41st pick of the draft, the first second round pick to win the award. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. Braun, over by Conley. Yep, that one goes. And the Nuggets lead by seven. And from second rounder to MVP, Greg, Nikola Jokic. What a story amazing Kevin and you know one thing the Joker did to transform his game dedicate himself to his conditioning Jokic is in much better shape now than when he first entered the league for the Nuggets Zeke Naji he's checked in for Jokic and it's Jackson in for Porter Timberwolves also changing it up Nas Reed he's checked in for Gobert Anderson comes in for Carl Anthony Towns and it's Jake Milton in for Noel now here's McDaniel. He's got five. Anderson passes to McDaniels. Anderson against Gordon. Anderson kicks to Milton. The Timberwolves again can't hit. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Jackson gets the bucket. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? No question about it. They found a nice rhythm from deep. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, Kevin. We've heard about player tracking on the court, but now shot tracking is helping players refine their strokes. It measures not just makes or misses, but the arc and the depth and the left-to-right direction of shots. These systems provide instant feedback to shooters and help them find the bottom of the net. Kevin, back to you. Sign me up. I, that, is a, that is a fascinating story. David, thank you. Pass to Anderson. Inside, stolen by Jackson. For three, Murray... That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. Murray's got the lead up to 11 now for Denver. Murray against Conley. Pass to Reed. To the paint. 
Here's McDaniels. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. McDaniels got seven points in the game. Here's Murray. He's got 16. Outside Jackson. Passes it to Gordon. Six on the shot clock over Anderson. And it's Gordon missing. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Nine-point game. The pass to Milton. And here's Anderson, defended by Gordon. Anderson against Gordon. Milton, rebound by the Nuggets. It's stolen by Milton. Pass to Reed. It's rebounded by Jamal Murray. The Nuggets leading by nine. Outside Jackson. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. And another miss by Denver. For Minnesota. They've gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. Conley dishes to Anderson. Back to Conley. Pass to Reed. And it's Anderson atop the key. He feeds it to McDaniels. Anderson passes to Reed. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. Yeah, just a fantastic job to stay with the play and just not give up. Excellent effort on the offensive backboard. Jackson kicks to Murray. Braun. McDaniels defending. Back to Murray. Takes the three. Made that one as the seventh of the contest. Seven for 15 from the floor. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. And the Timberwolves call time here. Some changes for Minnesota. Edwards comes in for Shake Milton. And Nikhil Alexander-Walker in for Mike Conley. Timberwolves trail by 10. There's a minute 47 left in the third. Now here's Reed. Jokic defending. Here's Edwards. And it's Jokic with the rebound. The Nuggets leading by 10. He kicks to Murray. Passes it to Jackson. Here's Jokic. And rebounded by McDaniels. McDaniels got rebound number seven for him tonight. Offensive rebound. Second shot opportunity. Shots good by Alexander Walker. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Now here's Jackson. He has seven. Outside Gordon. From deep. Reed with the rebound. Reeves got seven rebounds in the game. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Murray against Edwards. He takes it in. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Jokic. Great use of the dribble drive by Edwards there. Earning himself a trip to the line. The Timberwolves have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight. Going nine for nine. Shooting two. first free throw is good this is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second yeah you know what and i think they've just got to keep on keeping on keep drawing contact attacking getting to the line that will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game smith checked in for the nuggets and edwards drops them both there's 39 seconds left to play in the third Outside Jackson. Holiday, the pass to Jokic. Kicks to Smith. Fires the three. 
Denver gets it back. Gordon, and then Gordon with the dunk. Yeah, great hustle from Gordon using his patented vertical. The sky up for the board. Here's Alexander Walker. Out to Edwards. Fires from deep. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Denver in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Right back after this break. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Timberwolves trail by eight. And a look at the five for the Timberwolves to start the fourth. Underneath in the post, Towns and Gobert. Sliding in at the wing, it'll be Edwards and McDaniel. And it's Noel in at the point guard. Now here's Gobert. Noel, no good. Denver leading by eight. Outside Holiday. Jokic against Gobert. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Well, I love how crafty Jokic is. You know, he basically baits defenders into committing the foul once he gets deep position. The first one falls. You know, we've seen Jokic embrace a larger leadership role. He wants to be the guy that leads his team. And that's not just with scoring. It's also with his voice. And Jokic drops them both. Timberwolves trail by 10. Here's Noel. The pass to Gobert. Here's Noel. No good on that one. Good D by Holiday. And so it's Jokic with it. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. The kick out to Porter. And then Porter with the jam. Hey, hey, get this guy in the dunk contest. Porter Jr. capable of some nasty throwdown. Pass to Noel. And here's Gobert. Towns at the elbow. Over Gordon. Another miss by Minnesota. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. Six to shoot. Back to Porter. Three-pointer. The Nuggets get it back in a new 14. Timberwolves trail by 12. It's Edwards on the wing. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Porter with the steal. Pass to Jokic. On the wing, Holiday. Outside Porter. Jokic finds Caldwell Pope. This one for three. Rebound Minnesota. Right side Edwards. And that one hits back iron. The Nuggets leading by 12. 
Here's Caldwell Pope, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Caldwell Pope is very comfortable near the rim, cashing in from there. Edwards with it, and Holiday picks him up defensively. And now the Nuggets, last break. And the rejection by Towns. You know, one thing they can count on from Towns on the defensive end is block shots. He does not like to give up a clean look. Here's Gordon. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Edwards can't hit. Nuggets are gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Here's Caldwell Pope. Rebound, Minnesota. Nick Daniels got eight rebounds in this game. Here's Edwards. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. Yeah, and you know, when Edwards is aggressive, I think it forces defenders to try to get physical back. And when he's close to the rim, he usually is able to draw the foul as a result. They throw good, Edwards. Jamal Murray, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Edwards drops them both. And the play-in tournament, Greg, is here to stay, but the terminology is somewhat in limbo. Is that going to be part of the playoffs? You hear people say it's not the playoffs, it's the play-in. Maybe the term postseason should cover both the play-in and the playoff. Something to think about. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to catch what Mike Malone said to his team. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. Thank you, David. In the number one overall pick in 2015, Carl Anthony Towns has been the franchise player in Minnesota, but out to prove he can be the cornerstone on a contender. One shot. The free throw drops for Towns. Greg, in order for Towns to get the Wolves to where they want to go, and certainly where he wants to go, how does he take the next step? For me, last season, an inconsistent playoff performance for Cat. He's got to make an imprint on the game, even when shots aren't falling. Gordon with no one around. Here's Jokic. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. Now here's Edwards. Passes to Gobert. He dishes it to Towns. He kicks it to McDaniels. Now the pass to Edwards. Three-pointer. It's good from long range. Edwards got five points now in the quarter. In that first half, guys, they didn't shoot nearly as many threes as they have here in the second, trying to use that shot to stay in the game. And then Murray with the jam. Well, you don't like to see Murray get on this kind of a roll if you're defending him now because he's creative, and once he gets going, it's hard to slow him down. Oh, here's Edwards. And it's sent back by Jokic. And the Nuggets pushing it up now. Jokic is running. The Nuggets moving the ball around. On the wing, Porter. McDaniels defending. 
Really love seeing this from Porter Jr. The more aggressive he is, the better he plays. Throw good, Porter. And Porter drops them both. Yeah, good job bringing that free throw percentage up here in the second half. Doing a great job at the line. And it's blocked by Gordon. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gordon. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Minnesota with the ball, trailing by 13. Noel passes to Edwards. There's the drive. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Pretty tricky and sweet pump fake move by Edwards there, pulling the defender in close to get the foul drawn. Good on both. He's simply just willing himself to the line here. Denver leading by 11. Murray kicks to Caldwell Pope. It's stolen by Edwards. Now here's McDaniels. Guarded by Porter. Towns the pass to McDaniels. And finished off by McDaniels. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stuff. Well, turning defense to offense. We talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. And so here's Denver following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Jokic against Gobert. The Nuggets with another miss. And it's Towns with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Nine-point game. McDaniels passes to Towns. A second chance effort. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Shoot it one. A, a tough first half, but it's been a different story here since the break. Hey, guys, how about the dominant young career Carl Anthony Towns is having? Very few can dominate like he can, Kevin. Towns is a monster. I mean, averaging a double-double every year of his career so far. So valuable in what he brings to the table. Now, here's Porter. For three, Caldwell Pope. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact, straightforward call, simple. Throw good, Edwards. And Edwards drops them both. And he's been rock solid at the free throw line tonight. A little bit of an unexpected bonus for them. Now here's Murray. Tight defense on him. Can't hit from 12. Here's Minnesota. They're on a 17-7 run. Here's Noel. He's covered by Murray. No one here, Edwards, as he lets it fly. Bangs home the trifecta. Edwards got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for Minnesota.
Denver's gone ice cold from three-point land 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Porter finds Jokic. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got five assists tonight. You know, in the paint, Jokic is dominant because he can hurt you with the pass or with his scoring ability, and he knows how to position and assert himself in the paint area. Now, here's McDaniel. Right side, Towns. Five to shoot. There's Noel. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this trip. Man. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. Now, McDaniels, after the missed three from Contavious Caldwell Pope. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Caldwell Pope outside. Outside, Porter. Shoots over McDaniel. Falls back and drains the fadeaway jumper. Really good to see Porter Jr. utilizing the mid-range stroke. Knocking those down can open up other parts of his game. Here's Noel. Kicks it to McDaniels. Towns down low. He's against Gordon. And Towns gets it to go. Boy, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. Outside, Porter. Pass to Jokic. It's stolen by Edwards. Out to the wing. Towns down low. Defended by Gordon. Towns, no luck. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Good to see Gordon coming through with a big basket. I mean, he's no stranger to these high-intensity moments. Pass to McDaniels. Here's Noel. Outside Edward. For Caldwell Pope. And it's Denver with the rebound. They're led by as many as 14 points. Baseline try. And that one goes off. Timberwolves trail by three. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Left side, Tom. Over Jokic. The Timberwolves again can't hit. That's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for Denver. Here's Caldwell Pope. Basket number five goes in. He's now 5 of 12 from the floor. Nothing like being assertive and aggressive in critical spots. KCP coming through for his team. It's Edwards on the wing. 112 left to play in the final quarter. A beautiful reverse layup. Edwards got 31. At every level, Edwards has been the go-to guy for his team. It's in his DNA. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Now here's Murray. Here's Jokic. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. 29 points for Jokic. Boy, he is an all-star level talent for sure. Jokic, a safe bet in the clutch. Noel passes to Edwards. All three off the mark. You know, to cut deficits, you've got to be making smart basketball plays out there. Taking care of the ball, it's not done by hoisting up bonehead threes like that one. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. Aaron Gordon has a special combination of athleticism and size. And 
I think his skill set is perfectly tailored for how the game is played today. Jackson, he's checked in for Murray. No luck that time either. Timberwolves on offense, trailing by five. Here's Edwards. Doesn't go for him. Out well pumped with some nice D. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. And he adds to their lead with some very solid free throws. And not sure they've got enough time to save themselves. It doesn't look good, even with a quick bucket here. And there's the call on Rudy Gobert. That's it for him. He's fouled out. Now we'll go to the line for two. Obviously upset to have to take a seat here, but at this point, I don't think it'll have an impact. The game's probably out of reach anyway. And guys, this is where their depth really comes into play. They, they've got such talent at that position. They'd love to have him out there, but they won't suffer much of a drop-off. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And he ends up making the second, and that stretches their lead to eight. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Passes it to Edwards. Wants to get it to Reed, and does. Over Jokic. Denver grabs the miss. They've led by as many as 14 points. Outside Jackson. So the Nuggets win it. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And now let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thank you, Nicola. What are you able to do that allows you to impact the game so dramatically? I don't know what is happening, but I'm playing good. The team is playing good. Uh, like, we're kind of clicking and we are playing better and better. Hopefully, we're going to continue to play like that. It is really flowing right now, man. Congrats on another win. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.